I know a lot of people change their video editing program from Adobe Premiere Pro to CapCut just to use the feature that removes the background because most of the people nowadays edit reels and shorts and they want retention edit and to do that they need to remove the background and if you want to do that in Adobe Premiere Pro you need to use the feature rotoscope from After Effects that will consume a lot of power of your computer and also it will take forever right but Adobe Premiere Pro has introduced a new feature called Object Mask Tool that will magically remove the background from your video. So to use the Object Mask Tool, you need to use Adobe Premiere Pro beta version for now because they haven't released that for uh, the public version. To install beta version, go to your Creative Cloud app and from the beta section, just install Adobe Premiere Pro beta. That's it. And then get back to your Premiere Pro beta and there I have imported three different clip. This is one, another, and here is another to demonstrate how you can use the object mask tool. So to use the object mask tool, you need to select a clip and you'll see there is a new tool that is called object mask tool. If you click and hold, then you'll see there are a lot of new tools like ellipse mask, then rectangle mask and pen mask tool. So ellipse mask is you can just click a section and then it will select that portion and then you can go to the effects control and from here you can track that mask. And similarly you can use the rectangle mask and the pen mask tool. Using pen mask tool you can draw a mask and then you can track it. But the most interesting thing is object mask tool. Yes it is just like the object selection tool of adobe photoshop they have included in adobe premiere pro 2 that is very cool right so select that tool and select the clip that you want to uh, make a selection and you can just hover and it will automatically detect the object for this clip here is my subject right you can start from anywhere suppose i want to start from here so i can just click here to select the subject and it will make a selection now i need to track it to track it you need to go to effects control panel if you don't see go to windows and there you'll see effects control just click here to enable the panel and from here you'll see a new section called object mask right so from here you can just click on this section which is track select mask forward if you want to just track the forward section if you want to track the forward section also the backward section click here in the middle icon it will select and it will track your mask and you can see it is almost doing it in real times 24 23 fps this is a 24 fps clip so it's almost doing in real time so it's done right so here you can see this is my mask but it's not applied anywhere to apply it what you can do you can just click and drag it to opacity to see the subject only or suppose you want to apply a effect on this selection only right so select the mask and then if you go to effects panel suppose i want to use mosaic i can search for the mosaic effect and then i can click and drag it here it will automatically apply that mosaic effect here right so if i change the value of this effect you can see it is just affecting the selected portion right so it's it's very easy i can just undo and see you how you can apply a behind text right so if i just click and drag this mask here on the opposite section i can separate the subject from the background now let's duplicate it just by clicking alter option and then clicking and dragging it here this is my subject this is my background so from the background i can delete the mask now if i type anything like i want to type football right so if i type football and then i can make it a little bit bigger from the properties panel and then from the selection tool i can place it here it is not behind the subject to place the text behind the subject i can just click and drag it here in the v2 track and then i can extend it if i play it back you can see the result right so it is doing very very good job and the mask is pretty accurate it's it's not public yet so you can say it's just a test 
so for test it's working great i hope when they release it it will work much better so this is the next clip i want to select the subject so for this kind of subject what you can do you can select a portion that is visible from the side to right so if i just track it it will struggle when it come here so i will select this frame and then if i click and then if i select the object mask tool i can select the subject now i can go to the effects control panel and then i can click on track selected mask forward and backward so it is tracking it is doing in 14 fps because it's a 4k clip so the more resolution the more time it will take so if i play it back yeah the mask is almost perfect suppose i want to remove the spill uh, the warmer spill color i want to make the mac mini more silvery color so after making the selection i can just go to the lumetri color and then if i just manipulate any slider here it will automatically apply the mask on that value like for the lumetri color here so if i just decrease the saturation and then if i get back you can see the mask have been applied on the lumetri color panel so before you can see there is a warmish tint so if i apply the lumetri color it's looking much cleaner again this is a complicated scene so here um, it's a other condition scene and also there are a lot of trees and whatnot in the background so let's see how does the object selection tool work here so again select the object selection tool and then if i select the subject just by clicking the clip and then here hovering i can select the subject you can see my gimbal and camera is not selected to select it i can just click here on the gimbal it will automatically add those selection and now if i click on this track forward and backward it will select the subject and it's doing very very fast 23 fps it's done so what i can do i can again go to lumetri color and from here maybe i can decrease the exposure of the background light so if i decrease the exposure it will affect my subject i don't want that so i can just get back to effects control panel and from here i can invert the mask so it is now affecting the background if i decrease my exposure you can see the background exposure is decreasing so i will not do that in that way i will just add a vignette effect and then if i add a lot of vignette it will not affect the subject but it will darken the side of my frame so here it is and again here i can add more saturation or decrease the saturation of my clip entirely so it does very very good job if i show you in full screen mode you can see the selection is pretty accurate and it has done a good job so that's it that's the new tool from adobe premiere pro i really like that because when i edit my videos or my client project i need to uh, do a lot of back and forth from premiere pro to after effects just to remove a object or just to make a precise selection and i think now i can do it in adobe premiere pro and it is very reliable so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing or if you want to know more about different camera gear accessories then you can subscribe to this channel i'll catch you on the next one until then goodbye